Last week, 165 Australian journalists issued the most shameful manifesto in Australian journalism. These journalists, many from the left-wing Guardian and the ABC, backed by the Journalist Union, signed this open letter demanding that, in effect, media outlets treat Israel as a genocidal state. These journalists ordered the media to give adequate coverage, in their view, to the supposed war crimes, genocide, ethnic cleansing and apartheid of, well, they obviously meant Israel. Uh, not once did they attack Hamas like this, which is in fact genocidal. In fact, they demand the media treat Israel's leaders as no more trustworthy than those of Hamas, these lying Islamist terrorists, rapists, kidnappers and head hackers. As they put it, media outlets should apply as much professional scepticism when relying on uncorroborated Israeli government and military sources as is applied to Hamas. And they go on. Don't think this current war started with the October 7 massacre by Hamas of 1,200 Jews. Joining me is T Tony Thomas, journalist, former editor, quadrant columnist and author of many books, the latest Anthem of the Unwoke. Tony, great to see you again. What kind of journalist? You've been in the business for many decades would sign such an anti-Israel and, in my opinion, effectively pro-Hamas letter. Where are they from? Well, it's just terrible. But when I began sampling them, I found that uh, <clears throat> the real majority are ed university educated. They've had three to five years at university. Most of them were doing uh, stupid journalism courses. Others, uh, surprisingly, were quite strong in the international relations sphere and the other lot of the do-gooders, the yes campaigners, the uh, um, uh, global planet savers, uh, the um, people who think that they know uh, what everybody else should be doing. Well then there's the cartoonists, there were four of Australia's prominent cartoonists signing. Uh, there's all the identity politics and the uh, um, uh, sorts of uh, people who uh, have no self-awareness. They, they uh, bang on about uh, uh, how journalists must uh, do the right thing and uh, they're advocating the worst possible form of journalism, uh, uh, bias. Uh, yeah, I noticed you used uh, the word do-gooders. How can you be a do-gooder? You do good and you find yourself uh, effectively helping, even if you don't mean to, some of the world's worst terrorists. I don't quite get it. Now, listen... Um, tell us about some of the names. Uh, start with Karen Percy. Look, this is the thing. Most of these people I've never heard of, right? Uh, and almost none have right, listened sure. to any distinction in the media apart from a couple of the cartoons. Tell us, uh, first of all, about her. Well, she's uh, the uh, leading light in the uh, uh, media section of the Media and Arts Alliance, and uh, she seems to be uh, 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 freelancing in her, in her private life. But uh, she's uh, full of uh, self-virtue uh, and uh, she's uh, leading the most awful campaign against true journalism. The other thing is that so many of these journalists are award winners and uh, prize getters. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite bizarre. And in addition, this Media and Arts Alliance is, is part of the... Uh, uh, Walkley Awards uh, cabal and it's also part of the press council that is supposed to be monitoring journalistic ethics and yet uh, journalistic ethics oh. are the first out the window. But just by the way, you've vastly underestimated the numbers here. Uh, it was 160. It immediately doubled to 300 uh, basically over the weekend. Oh, my God, But these no. petitions have... Yeah, Oh, you've heard nothing yet, Andrew. These petitions have been uh, going since uh, 2021. Um, in uh, uh, October, uh, there was a petition by both the arty crowd and the journalistic crowd, and they had 1,700. Then there was a new petition by oh, the mate. MEAA, that's the Union, uh, Advocates for Palestine, that had 571. Um, and uh, the... The uh, numbers, uh, and apart stop from the ones that are like signing, <laughs> no, stop there's it. a, a, a mean, section at the bottom of, of some of these. Uh, this uh, one. Uh, Tony, oh, yeah, that's just that's uh, 300. Time. I need to go through latest, some of them. Yeah. So we just talked about we just talked about a union official, right? A journalist union official. I mean, disgraceful back in this. Three of the signatories: the ABC's Tony Armstrong. 
the ABC's Jan Fran, the ABC's Benjamin Law, among others, are ABC. How does a taxpayer-funded ABC tolerate that when it's meant to be impartial? Well, they've got this anti-social media comment policy where, for example, Laura Tingle got uh, uh, um, rebuked for uh, talking about ideological bastardry of the coalition. Now, how is it any different if they're publicly naming themselves on the most grotesquely biased, hateful, anti-Israel uh, petitions uh, by the hundred and the ABC won't even uh, do any disciplining and the real reason I think is that the MEAA is standing behind these journalists ready to take out strikes or uh, in other words uh, punish any employer who uh, dares to uh, take any retaliatory action against these journalists so uh, it's it's uh, uh, Lee, Lee Sales gave a talk, uh, her Andrew Ollie lecture about a month ago, and she admitted that uh, nobody trusts the media these days, and she even cited the fact that the ABC brand has tumbled from 5th to 18th sure. in trust in the last two or three years. So it was a very good speech of hers, but she just said that... Uh, all journalists have to have the guts to face up to the fact that the public has had enough of them. The public is extremely sceptical of the when media. This, the public doesn't trust the media. And when you see this, they should be, Tony. They should be. 